Hello again, I am Blunty. So, NVIDIA did the thing over in Germany at Gamescom. They spent a couple of hours on stage, most of which was self-congratulatory backpatting about just how clever they are and explaining in way too much detail for this given audience of gamers how stuff like deep learning and ray tracing works, when 99% of this audience, all they wanted to know was how much better will the new graphics cards make their games look and how much smoother they'll run, and how many more frames they'll get. And of course, how much that privilege will cost them. But we did get there eventually, and to cut right to it, unlike NVIDIA, they're kicking off with three models, the RTX 2070, the RTX 2080, and RTX 2080 Ti, and prices start at about 500 American smackers and go up to four digits. And when it came to showing off what the new cards actually do for games, they focused entirely on the new ray tracing hybrid rendering lighting stuff. Which makes sense, that is the biggest difference and most important difference of this brand new architecture. No mention of VR, however. No mention of basic general performance increases over the GTX 10 series cards in games more broadly. But I'm sure we'll get to all that kind of stuff, both from NVIDIA themselves and from, of course, third parties fortunate enough to be sampled with review units as we climb towards the September 20th launch day. But today, their presentation was all about the ray tracing. And the dummy mode explanation about what ray tracing does, at least in the context of our games, is instead of using the current technique of what's called screen space reflections, which only reflects what's rendered on screen off of other stuff that's on screen. This is a comparatively performance cheap way to do things, but it is not terribly accurate to the entire environment. Ray tracing instead reflects accurately objects and light sources that are off screen, not currently rendered. And the difference this makes was most dramatically shown in the Battlefield 5 demo they did, where off screen objects and explosions and such were accurately reflected off the ground, off the buildings, off the cars, off the weapons, and all the other objects in the scene. And the difference this can make to immersion and situational awareness, most importantly in games like this, in fact, situational awareness, is potentially game changingly dramatic. Think about what you can see, what you can detect, what you can infer about the environment that is not currently being rendered directly in front of you by what's being reflected off the stuff that's in front of you. It's huge! Being able to accurately see what's around the corner or occluded by other objects reflected realistically and naturally is a massive thing. The less dramatic but still impressive demos from the new Tomb Raider game and Metro Exodus focused more on shadows and naturally reflected lights for more accurate and natural feeling environments when compared to the way we currently kind of cheat with global illumination and shadows and such. This stuff is much more subtle and probably less impactful to the raw gaming experience, but it was impressive in its own right and can and will make a difference to the sort of immersion and reality of the way these environments feel. But the real and full story of these cards is yet to come, of course, when reviewers start comparing what they do in all other areas of gaming and VR compared to the existing generation of cards, and how that price and performance balance is struck. Alongside that, the big man at NVIDIA, Jensen Huang, also touted just how overclockable and quiet the new cards are, which is also pretty important, especially for folks like me who want their cards at absolute peak performance but need them to stay silent so they don't hum and whine and whistle over our recordings and our live streams. Also nice for the people not doing that stuff, not to have a card going in the background while they're trying to game. So... Some pretty exciting reveals, not as much information as I would have wanted, and a lot of the story is still untold. But pump your opinion juice into the down below area and let me know how you feel about the reveals so far. I personally am excited and eager, and as MSI were the very first into my inbox this morning, basically the instant NVIDIA did the reveal on stage, there goes my email, ping! And there's MSI waiting for me. I've already emailed them back about when and if I can get some hardware in my hand. So fingers crossed on that. In the meantime, as I said, hit the down below area. Tell me what you want to know. Tell me what you want me to test if and when I get one of these cards in hand before launch too. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty and I'll catch you next time.